Big Z Reviews. Hi, my name is Brandon, but you can call me Big Z. And today I'm doing a little something different than I normally do. I normally review like movies, TV shows, books. And this thing is a lot more personal this time. And honestly, I don't know if I will upload it or not. We shall see, I guess. We'll see how it turns out and what I think about sharing personal stuff. But, um, you know, if you can't tell, like, I have it, the way I film, I try to be, though, you can't tell that, that I look the best that I can. But I am very fat. I am obese. I have been big my entire life. You know, even, like, when I was a baby, I was actually sideways, my mom, and, and she, like, it thought I was twins at first. But then I was born a month early when I turned in the correct direction. And I was still, like, over the normal weight. So, like, throughout my whole life, I've been... I've been heavy. I've been bigger. And I've also... I'm not just fat. I'm also tall. I'm, I'm six foot five. But, like, in the winter, if I'm wearing shoes and I have my hair up, it gets pretty tall. I probably look like I'm six foot eight if I would like for other people. But, um, you know, I... I'm also, I'm, I'm, I have a big build. Like, I wouldn't say, like, having the idea of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not fat, I'm big boned. But I am big boned. <laughs> you know, I've never broken a bone except for my middle finger, which I crushed between two weights. And, uh, like, if, you know, but I am a level of obesity where, like, usually if you watch the uh, really fat people that are, like, are bedridden, and I, I, I love, I watch that and see, like, how, how, how much they weigh, but, like, you know, it's like because you know I'm, I'm still active. I mean, I'm not. I still would hurt. Like my feet would hurt. My knees hurt if I do a lot of stuff. But I'm still out and about and doing things. I'm just very fat. I'm also, I also I probably probably have like like three two seventy five three hundred pounds of pure muscle. But it's just that I weigh a lot more than that. But at the same time, you know, I'm not. I know that it's not healthy. I know that it's bad. I mean, it's it's tough to be heavy. Like it's every, it it has a challenge to everything you do. It adds extra challenge to it. I mean, just even just you know laying down in bed, like you have more weight, which is it, it makes it tougher. And if you have to worry about when you sit down, like everything around you breaks down quicker because you have the extra weight. And if you go to new restaurants and stuff, you have to worry about what kind of chair they'll have. Or, you know, if, if it makes everything slightly more difficult. And if, and I know I want to lose weight and I've, you know, I've, I've done a lot of some yo-yo dieting, but not too bad. Like, but, you know, I have, you know, usually in the summer when I can swim, I use, I lose like 20 to 30 pounds and I gain it back in the winter with maybe a couple other friends. And uh, this past time, this winter, I, you know, New Year, I wanted to try to make a change and I... The biggest thing is that I'm, I've always been kind of addicted to cereal, like, and so I would have, like, you know, you can't have just one chip, you people would say, I would have, you can't just have one bowl of cereal, and it was just something, like, I would, before other times where I said, where I was going to lose weight, I'm just, okay, I'm just going to have one bowl of cereal, that's it, no more, then I'd have a bowl of cereal, and then be like, oh, there's still some milk in there, and then I'd fill up that milk with some more cereal. Then they'd be done, oh, I've had three bowls of cereal, and now the box is gone. And I mean, so I wanted to change, but I didn't know, like, I wanted to know if I'd have switch up breakfast or do something different. And I decided that I want to try, you know, the protein shakes, and instead replace, you know, a meal replacement. And instead of having cereal, just quit cold turkey. And I haven't touched cereal for a couple months now. And instead, I've had, you know, a protein shake. And if you're morning, a protein shake mixed with coffee. And then also I have a, I have a protein shake at night. And that's one, but that's their other problem that factor knows that I would have someone snack late at night. And that's probably the worst time you can snack. And I mean, and it's, it's, it's like, it's pretty quickly I noticed the change. Like I lost weight. Although it's disappointing. I didn't um, immediately, I didn't weigh myself when I started changing my habits. But I knew from what I weighed at the end of the previous year that, and then, so then when I, when I started weighing myself and that's, you know, up to the, up to now, like I, I've, I lost weight more quickly once I get started swimming again, but then, you know, I've lost 50 pounds so far and 50 pounds, if you don't know, it's like, 
This is a 50 pound dumbbell. And I mean, if you don't know what a 50 pound dumbbell weights, it's heavy. You know, it's a heavy thing. It's not light. So I've been carrying this around, you know, the 50 pound dumbbell with all around my body. It's not like this, but if I had to carry this all day, every day, I couldn't do it. It'd be impossible. But if, I, if I've, I've lost this much weight, this much weight I have lost. And that is kind of fucking ridiculous. But at the same time, because of my weight, it's like, it's not that noticeable. It's like, it's a drop in the fat bucket that, you know, but it's, you know, as if I'm around myself, that, that is amazing. That is life changing. If I can keep it going, like if I can lose another 50 pounds for the rest of this year, that'd be amazing. And I just have to keep trying. I can't, you know, slide back. If I plateau, I have to keep going. And I, if, if, if I do repost this, maybe I'll keep a little bit of a journal uh, telling you, like, and, um, you know, how I'm doing. The problem is, is that when you weigh a lot, even if I'm still, I'm not, like, unhealthy, like, I'm not, like, bedridden, but, you know, it, it, t it wears down your joints more, your feet hurt more. So it's tougher to do, to do a lot of walking or to do, like, exercise that would be really heavy on your joints. So, like, I what, for the winter... I'll, I'll walk the dogs a little bit, but then also the big thing, I started lifting weights again. And I lift weights like one to two times a week. And I have dumbbells. I have a 20 pound, a 35 pound, a 50 pound, a 65 pound. And it takes me a couple of hours to go through all the exercises. I only have one of each weight. And so I can only do one arm at a time. But, you know, I did that and I was losing weight. And then when I was actually able to start swimming like a, a month and a half, two months ago, like that's my weight came off a lot quick, more, a lot more quicker, and it's so if I can keep that up and keep losing, that'll be great. But I I love swimming. Swimming is probably my favorite thing, and it's great because it is really easy on me because you know you're in the water, so it's not like that damaging on your joints, you know. And and I can swim like like right now. I like yesterday I swam 50 laps, and that's a a 40 foot long pool, and like if. Like, you know, by the end of the summer, a lot of times, they, if I have enough time, I can do almost like a hundred laps. But that's again, that takes takes a long time, so you have to have the time to do it. But um, you know, I just, I have to keep working on it. And the one thing though, when you lose weight, if you have a lot of weight to lose, like a normal person, they lose fifty pounds, they'd be like they'd be svelte. But you know, but you don't, you can't choose where your weight comes off. And, like I probably lost like thirty pounds. From my upper back, my like my neck and my shoulders, and that's just that is what it is. I don't know if I can take a selfie from the <laughs> to show off my back, but like that's that's just where it's decided to come off. Like if I had to pick, I would pick my man boobs, my fupa, and my spare tire to to have all the weight come off of. But you know it's random. I felt like that's the way I'm looking at my hands. I was like. I think I've lost weight in my hands. Huh. <laughs> it's just kind of like you lose a little bit everywhere and you don't have any choice where it comes off. You know, but you know, maybe um, you'll see, you'll see, hopefully as time goes on, you'll, and if I keep doing the, the videos, you'll see, you might notice a slight difference in my face. I don't know. But, you know, I just have to kind of, I have to lose the weight. I have to keep it going because I know it's not healthy. I know it's, you're slowly killing yourself when you when you have that much weight, and so it makes everything more difficult. And you know, if I can keep losing that, I just, I think it'd be amazing. I just have to keep on with it, uh, keep it going. You know, if I if it's, if it's weird to think talk about this, but I'm going to try and maybe and maybe if I if I do keep going, maybe I do other videos and talk about my history with weight loss and why I think I've I've gained weight. But like, you know, I <laughs> that's the big thing. I mean. I know that I I am the way I am because of a lifetime of eating more than I could burn off in a day, you know. And to stop that, I have to eat less and move more. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I think you know the protein shakes have helped too. I don't know if they've. I feel like I've gotten more of a definition, but like I don't know. It seems like a big thing I'm using them as replacement meal replacements or snack replacements, and I think that's really helping. But I mean. What changing from at least thousand calories every day of cereal in the morning 
and instead changing that to a 150 calorie uh, protein shake mixed with coffee. I mean, that's that, that's gonna be huge. But at the same time, it's not magic. It's not like bam, the weight comes off immediately. You have to work on it a bit, and that's and sometimes the the weight plateaus, and sometimes then then they'll have a jump. I'll lose like. The, some of the women, I'll have like a week or two, I won't lose anything. And then a week, I'll, I'll lose like 10 and 15. It's like, I don't know how my body works, but like, I have to keep working on it. I have to, I mean, like, I won't, I'm not going to give the number of what I weigh right now because it's, it's a lot. But, you know, I have to get down. I have to lose it, you know, and that's the only thing I can do. But thanks for watching. And uh, maybe I'll keep you updated every, every month or so if I if I if I upload this. We'll see, I guess. But uh, thanks for watching, and then you can check out my other video playlist in my head and subscribe to that video over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z video. Thanks for watching.